How's it going everybody? It is July 30th. I'm gonna do a quick video just to show you guys uh, what happened yesterday. And then I wanna tie that into the, the power of uh, all the marketplaces. And let's let's get into it because this is what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about this spike. So as you can see, you know, I've been averaging about what, six, seven sales a day for the last uh, seven days. And then yesterday, Friday, uh, you know, I get 13 and it's it's a clear spike because you can see here two hundred and twenty six dollars in sales thirty seven dollars in royalties There were all kinds of products selling throw pillows tank tops pop sockets. There was even a tote bag uh, You know a bunch of stuff there. There was one design that sold uh, uh, Three Items but three different product types. So uh, I think it was like a v-neck. It was a standard t-shirt and a tank top with the same design, it could have been the same person, maybe not, maybe it was just that one uh, design that was, uh, you know, that got picked up yesterday somewhere. Uh, but basically, uh, 13 sales, it was it was an exciting day, I was I was watching it throughout the day, you know, sales were coming in, it was feeling good, right. Uh, I'm going back to uh, overall sales yesterday, uh, 14, bunch of zeros, there was one in Japan, and we're stuck at 14. So 13 is exceptional for me for for this you know for the u.s marketplace uh but then over the last couple of months i've been talking about how my royalties have been increasing and my overall sales because of international marketplaces and i wanted to show you guys the difference so this is you know a great day in the u.s no other sales except one but then if we go back and i've already selected a date where i had a same uh same number of sales in the US 13 but then look even just the random sales and then four in Japan and it adds up to 20 so you can have one great day two great days in the US which is for me this is my my main marketplace but then without international sales my sales are almost halved like this is the power of of every marketplace of taking every opportunity that that amazon gives us and i remember when we were you know because i've been i've been uh, doing merch for a while and i remember when there were just one or two or three i can't remember which marketplaces were first introduced and people on youtube were saying ah it's okay don't worry about those marketplaces just list in the u.s because that that's the main one that's where all the sales come come from and, and I just remember that being such bad advice. Uh, and, uh, and, and even though, for example, we might think we got things figured out, I, I trust that Amazon has in, invested more time and money than I have in their research. So if they introduce a product, if they introduce a marketplace, uh, you bet your ass that I'm going to, you know, uh, listen to, to, you know, that opportunity and basically just uh, going for it. And recently, I have been kind of thinking I was even this morning, I was thinking about uh, my uploads. So right now, what I'm doing, let me actually pull up the calculator, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing this correctly here and showing it to you guys. So let's say we're doing uh, 3000 divided by 66 products, so about 45. So 45 designs a day. That's what I'm doing on average right now. Sometimes I'll do more and re, re, uh, I'll, I'll uh, take certain products off. So I'm, I won't be pushing it to my designs to all the products. Uh, sometimes I'll do less. Sometimes I'll do, you know, 30 designs. But that's the pace that which, you know, which I'm uploading my products uh, at. Now, I've thought about... Uh, just concentrating, and I've talked about this before, just concentrating on, you know, uh, standard t-shirt, premium t-shirts, pops, like, like things that, that, that sell regularly. And that's still very much on my mind. And, and especially now that, I've ha that I have uh, Canvas Titans figured out that I can actually design hundreds, hundreds of designs every single day. If I want more, I can probably do like a thousand if we're talking about just scaling designs. Uh, so, so this number can go up uh, very uh, quickly, very aggressively. But then, 
then the question is, what will happen with with this kind of stuff? Like, in the long run, is it better for me? So, and that's that's the big conflict because right now, I'm taking advantage of every product, and every marketplace, and that's the big question, you know. Because right now, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I wouldn't have days like this. I would have a really strong day in the U.S., and then I would have a bunch of zeros. But right now, there's a nice distribution of sales. It feels good. There's certain marketplaces that, that sometimes will pick up. Other ones won't. And, and it all evens out, right? Overall, my, my sales are increasing. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it with that big question. Maybe I'll, I'll leave that question for you guys. What is your take? What's your take on this? Would you, would you just simply list 3,000 standard and premium T-shirts every single day and, and get up to 20,000 designs you know, in, in a month? Or, or would you take this approach that I've been taking? Every marketplace, every product, very, very small number of, of designs. Uh, let me know. But anyway, so far, doing great. It looks like, it looks like I, two days left. Looks like I'm going to beat the previous month. Not by a lot, uh, but, but overall sales are, are definitely uh, way past uh, last month's. So sitting at 342 and last month, 308. So we're way ahead of the game, but I'm just looking at the U.S. And uh, anyways, feels good. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you, guys. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you later.